Imagine living in a space where nature wakes you up with birds chirping and sunshine permeating through window to announce daybreak. Imagine the ideal life of living happily, devoid of hefty bills, talk of rent, water, electricity, and others. Surviving on juicy fresh fruits and vegetables you don't even have to buy. Joshua Kweku Esiedu indeed is living the life. He made a choice to live in a forest in Ghana, away from the crowded and noisy cities, and reiterates it's the best decision ever. Joshua was born and raised in the northern part of Italy by his Ghanaian father and Italian mother. He schooled in Italy till age 20, where he embarked on a journey to understand nature and life better. Sharing his story to Wodimaya, a YouTuber on moving from Italy to one of Ghana's forests, he said he had already traveled to Greece, London, and wanted to get closer to nature, hence his decision to settle in Ghana. Western and European life is a result of colonization and exploitation of resources from indigenous people, mainly Africa. Being with the Western life means trying to be with this exploitation from the West. So I need to look into the mirror and choose where I want to be. And this is where I want to be, he says. Hey, Africa is big, not only in size, but even in resources. Huh? Okay, so now a lot of resources are coming from Africa. Mention some of the resources. Gold. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oil. Uh-huh. 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 There will be no spaceship without the resources from Africa. You see, you said last time, Kofi wants to give you a nice laptop. There wouldn't be laptop without the resources from Africa. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's very important. So geography is very important too. Because if we know where things are, then we can understand even how the cultural aspect has been affected by the resources and by the exploitation of resources and how we can retrace to our own culture by understanding the historical facts that happened to us. So it's very important that we understand our history, especially even our recent history, in order to rise up just like a flower, you know. I don't want to live in this conventional life anymore. The Western life is not for me. We went on an expedition to North and South America, Pentagonia, and different places in the world, but nothing satisfied his curiosity. After his expedition in Italy, his father told him about the land their forefathers left for them in Ghana. Joshua then took a flight to Ghana to inquire about the land his father mentioned. After he arrived in Ghana, his uncle took him around to different parts of the country and even showed him the family land. He eventually settled in a forest in the eastern region of Ghana, surrounded by nature. He said, I came here to open a safe place for people in the diaspora and visitors from the Western world who are willing to change something about their life. He has a playground and the youth in the nearby community often come around to play and help in his farm. Joshua is building a house for a retreat program in the forest for visitors who will come and integrate Western life into rural life and learn from the ways of the indigenous people. 
It will be a seven-day retreat program where they will learn from the indigenous local community of Arich heritage. During the retreat, local women will lead numerous workshops as they teach participants on herbal medicines, art of cooking, pottery, and the way of life in the community. Joshua said after colonization by the West, the indigenous people believed everything coming from the West is the best, be it clothing, shoes, hairstyle, skin color, and so on. With this retreat program, he hopes to change the mindset of the local people to appreciate what they have in Africa and erase the idea that the best comes from the West. Okay, so after, after a week of work, here we got the hole, here we got the roof. I think it's working. It's actually the first trial, so let's see. It's raining a lot. Yo! It's leaking a little bit. Yeah. But you can come and see. Damn! Yo! This is, this is literally hard work, and this is literally why I love yes. a place like Africa, like Ghana, yeah. a place where resources are still available. An individual just needs to place an idea yeah. and everything can come up. Yes. Just start work and dedication, for real, right here. Yeah. I'm so proud about it. Yeah. One love. Yeah. He further said Africa doesn't need any help. People need to respect Africa for what Africa is, the mother of humanity. Although Joshua has lived in opulence in Italy and other places of attraction around the world, he seems so happy at his new environment, evidenced by the exciting videos he shares on his Instagram page. Joshua has been in Ghana for some years, but never stated how long in the interview. Whatever is in your heart, just follow your dream and passion and never regret Though there will be challenges and failure, it's part of the journey to your passion, Joshua said.